Hello folks, Tor here again. Uh, it's been a while since I've been doing this place of uh, A Link Between Worlds. I don't think... Actually, actually, I don't recall why it's been that long, but yeah. Anyway, we are going to continue on as Megator. And I got, is it, 17 hard containers. So that's like 8, 9 uh, missing... Oh, 8? It's actually... Is it 4? Four heart pieces uh, per, for each container. And currently, I think I have like. Let's see. I think it's like 11, 11 that's some missing uh, items. Items. Uh, no. Gear. Gear it is. Oh, actually, there's only one uh, heart piece uh, missing, so I can have like 18 heart containers. But I don't really care that much about it. We are going to go to Lurul Hakasol. We are gonna finish the game. And I could maybe actually bring with me a, um, a fairy. Even though I'm uh, already having like... Uh, Free fairies, you can never have too many of them. I'm just looking for fairies, so I don't know what's going on. It's been that long. Um, I think I'm actually just nobody else. And as you can see, I'm having a blue mail. Blue mail? Yeah. Blue mail? Oh, wait, is there a fairy now? Yeah. If you have like um, 3,000 um, rupees, no, actually, 3,200 rupees, I think it is. It's been that long, yeah. And here we got this uh, half piece uh, virtual game, which I'm going to be here after No, where are the fairies in again? Yeah, okay, I'll just go into the room and get a fairy. I know where to find one there. I shouldn't think about it, I don't know what the in the rural place. Let's see, one is at the right, no, watch out. Uh, no, it's like at the right here. Let's be that one, this is a little fair. I'm just gonna have like four fairs, uh, oh gosh, I don't even call that. Let's be that one, okay, I see. Got a wheelage, but uh, it's not supposed to be on way up here with fairs, there we go. How can I miss that? Psst. No, wait, wait, this is not it. Oh gosh, that memory. There's like something in the middle of the rural, that's what I'm thinking of there. Okay, never mind the fair. <laughs> I'm thinking about the middle of the rural, 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 I'm Oh wait, uh, that's what she needs. I forget about it, I need to use the balls, but I need to use the uh, net. There we go. There we go, yay! Now we can go to the castle. To the root castle, guys. So I'm just gonna change the channel here. Um, yeah, I can just come and shut the... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, the entrance. That's one of me, and there we go, I'm gonna get out. And we can enter the castle. Can you hear me? Hero Hyrule. Hero Hyrule. You are just in time for Yuga. For Yuga has escaped my dogs, and his minions are loose in the uh, root castle. Give me one final room to bury up that castle, and make haste, Hyrule. And the door will be opened. The seal has been shut off. And we don't have any reason to expect her to be guilty of anything. Wait, wait. That can't be any sense, Connor. Eh, not inside again. And what am I just going to get first of all? Well, I think I'm just going to... Oh, these guys, they are always friendly. There we go, that's one. That's all first, and it's not going to be lost, is it? I don't have any reason to expect it. Right. Okay, now things are getting a bit more interesting. Wait, isn't there a key to get in here? Oh, now there's 20 rubies, that's what it is. Why is that one actually there? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna go just up close. So I'm gonna go and find a key, but I don't think we'll go where it is. Ooh! Oh, let's see if we can find it. We're just gonna push this, uh, gargoyle-wise statues, while our statues are protecting this uh, chest. Ooh, yay! So we got the smoke key. And we're just gonna go all the way up. We're gonna get stuff very good now. Which is something locked out of the game. Especially if you play on the heroes mode, you really wanna go get this item at once. You have to have a running root castle, and see how you wanna go get the item. So go upstairs again. I know there should be a door which is locked in here. Oh, that's what's going to be here. Ah, nice corporate. You know you're trying to get the item. Up here! Maybe we'll find a very interesting item. Who knows what it is? So we got the compass, and as you see there, it's supposed to be a, uh, just, just, yeah, just, um, not bottom, bottom, bottom screen, like the lower part, the one that's in zero. How do we do, we'll go around, hmm. Well, if you click, uh, all the torches, you're missing a, uh, way up here. And here, you see there's a chest, a big chest, and we got to make it up. For this, you see there's a big chest, there's a big chest. So we're just gonna run all the way around, and I'm just taking the torches again. So should we just start the upper part? Oh, we could. Uh, that door is the easiest one of those two. I think we want to go for the first one, and that's the one here. In my opinion, this is the first one, actually, of them, those two. It's kind of like the, um, um, yeah, you know, that dark castle thing, which I didn't call the name on. But no, which I should remember the name, so I assume that one's just a game. So I don't actually recall that thing. Very fortunate. Let's not go over it now, is it? Oh. Let me see. Oh. So I can see one there. Okay, this is a trickier part. You can step around here, I can actually knock that one. There's like a uh, wall blocking here, and you can open the door there. So what you have to do now is be careful, very careful. You see, I got there, but there's something that's looking here. It's like a um, skull half thing right there, moving over my, uh, my thumb, please. And you see a chest right up at the top here, on the screen, and that's what you're going to get. Okay, and I'll be careful, we can go left, and there we go, we got a small key. I just have to see where I need to go. Let's open the door and let's go in and kill ourselves right across. Let's figure out where I need to go. Oh no! Okay, the last thing is you can just get it. Just there. Ow. There we go, I got it. That's one of the most annoying enemies I can think of. 
as well as possible. So, there we go, there's some man. Oh. That's one enemy, and there the other one is killed. And we can enter the castle. Can you hear me? Hero of Hyrule. Hero of Hyrule. You have arrived just in time for Yuga. Uh, for Yuga has escaped my bonds, and his minions are loose in uh, her in Luru castle. Give me a moment while I remove the barrier that protects my castle. Then make haste, Megator. And the door will be opened. The seal has been shut off. And we don't have any reasons to expect uh, her to be guilty for anything. Don't do it? No. There can't be any setups, Connor. No, not in a cell game. And um, what am I just gonna go and get first of all? Well, I think I'm just going to. Oh! These guys, they are always friendly. There we go, that's one. That's all first, and it's not gonna be the last one, is it? I don't have any reasons to expect it, do I? Okay, now things are getting a bit more interesting. Oh wait, isn't there a key to get in now? Oh, no, it's 20 rupees, that's what it is. Why is that one then actually there? I don't know. And I don't think we are gonna go just upwards. I'm gonna go and find a key, but I don't recall where it is. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can find it. We are just gonna push this uh, gargoyle statues, whatever they are. Statues that's protecting this uh, chest. Ooh, yay! So we got the small key. And we are just going to go all the way up. We are going to get something very good now. Which is helping a lot out in the game. Especially if you play on the heroes mode. You really want to go and get this item at once. You enter the Haru I mean Luru castle. Once you enter it you want to go and get the item. So go upstairs again. I know there should be a door which is locked in here. Oh, you're not supposed to go and hit me. Haha, <laughs> nice corporate, even though you tried to hit me. Up here, we will be finding a very interesting item. Who knows what it is? So, we got the compass, and as you can see, there is supposed to be a chest just. Yeah, just that the um, not bottom, bottom, but bottom of the screen, or like the lower part, the one that's nearest you. How do we go, do we go there? Hmm. Well, if you lit, uh, unlit the torches, you'll be seeing a uh, way up here. And here you see there's a chest, a big chest. And we got the red mail. If I do this, you will see there's like a big chest. They will see it even better. So we are just gonna run all the way around. And I'm just lighting the torches again. So should we just start with the upper part? Well, we could. Uh, that door is the easiest one of those two. I think we wanna go for the hardest ones of you. And that's the one here. In my opinion, this is the hardest one, actually, of, them, of those two. This is kind of like the... Um, um, yeah, you know, that dark castle thing, which I don't even call the name on right now. Which I should, rem I should remember the names, but it's been that long since I played the game, so I don't actually recall everything. Very unfortunate. 
And that's not gonna work now, is it? Oh. Let us see. Oh. Stay close to the wall here. Okay, this is the trickier part. You can step around here and you can actually not enter there. There's like a um, wall blocking you and you cannot open the door there. So what you have to do now is being careful. Very careful. You see a bat there, but there's something else blocking here. It's like a um, skull head thing right there with my finger. My... Uh, my thumb, that is. And we see a chest right up at the top here on the screen. And that's what we're gonna get. Okay, and now be careful. A bit more to the left. And there we go. We got the small key. I just had to see where I did go. Let's open the door and let's go in and kill what's ever waiting for us. There's something good waiting for us here. Is it? Oh, no! Okay, the best thing is you can just get it to stay there. Wow. There we go, I got it. That's one of the most annoying enemies I can think of. As well as it goes for the last boss, sort of. If I recall, there's some uh, heart recovery piece there, isn't it? Is it me just messing up? Probably it is. There we go. Heart recovery. Money. Rupees. I thought there was supposed to be a heart piece so. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, let's go back. Watch out, I'm not gonna get hit by the ice. Surely not gonna get hit by the ice. And there we got the, another secret passage open it. Still, I'm going upwards. Just to finish that the other room. Then we don't have to go to the top any longer. We can just continue on going straight to the sides then. So we will be going here with the... Um, Hardest of the upper two puzzles. This is probably actually the hardest one, so then, when I think of it. No, well, no. I can't even agree with myself. But you gotta be careful here. Really careful. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna take it easy. I'm gonna find him 50 more rupees as well. For the win. And it's time to open uh, that uh, hovering platform. The hovering platform. And I really hate the hand right there. I'm just gonna kill it. Oh, recovery hearts, that's always good, now we can shoot. And come on, you're moving so slow, that is just annoying. Why didn't I speed you up? Is it just so the grass pen can get me? Or it's kind of like a ceiling master, floor ceiling master thing. Okay, let's go and get to the hardest part at once. 
This is the harder part. Okay, got you unlocked. Very good. Thankfully, I'm safe here. That skull head. Okay. Move. Yay! Unlocked, thankfully. And uh, we need to get you down there from uh, from there as well. This eye here is supposed to be placed on a statue. Gonna just get you with me. I'm just gonna kill this uh, floor slash seal, seal master or whatever you prefer to call it. They will drag you back so you have to redo all of this and that's not fun at all. Whoops. Get back there. Oh gosh, the hand is almost back now. But thankfully, I'm so good that I made it. There, we unlocked the first eye. I think I'm gonna need your help here as well, aren't I? Yes, I am. Gonna need your help. So be a good uh, master. Thankfully. And turn back to a painting here. And use your hookshot, or yeah, hookshot that is. Just gonna wait for you to drop down. And there we go. Now we can get the uh, chest with the key in it. And it's time for the boss. And what boss could it be? Could it be one we have seen before, like earlier in the game? Could it be some enemy where, where we have to use the um, hookshot? Could it be? Ooh, Argus. That's Argus, yes. I'm just gonna wait for him to let me attack some of his eyes. Oh, you're trying to attack me, huh? Is that all you got? There we go, now he's turning mad. So we're just gonna be careful because he's gonna jump around now. He's gonna try to hit me where I last stood when he started to jump. He's already almost dead. There we go, he didn't even hit me once. Not one single hit, he's that easy. All you have to do is just run around and he won't hit you. Not even once. The next boss is the harder of the two remainings. That remains. And one of the most annoying bosses in any Zelda game. If you have played this game, you know what I'm talking about, I suppose. That's the bomb links. Is it actually that one? Oh, I have to think. Yes, that's it. That's the one. I think it is. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even recall myself. Yeah, that's the one. That's the bomb puzzle. Oh yeah, you probably got an idea of what's waiting already. Mm. 
Okay, time to switch item. Time to switch the main item. Okay, and we have to destroy this this guy here. How do we do so? That's the wrong way how we do it. That's the way we do it. A lot of bombs, huh? Now let's go around and let's get started, shall we? Yeah, and we got stuff waiting for us. Better do it the safe way. Yes, we better do it the safest way. There we go. Pretty smart, isn't it? And now I'm just gonna throw another bomb. Come with me, my little friend. Oh, you better wait there. I better handle this myself, huh? No, let's lure this one. Just trip it, trick it. There we go, we got the chest opened. And we got the small key. Kind of easy, isn't it? The only one thing that's annoying me here is the boss. This boss here can be rather annoying. Rather tricky and annoying as well. Especially because of this. Oh, you're not supposed to hit me. Yeah, now he's turning my head. Oh, you're trying to hit me? Oh, how mad you are. I, I'm glad I don't have that temperament in myself. My temper isn't that bad as yours. Ouch. And if you're playing uh, on Heroes mode, you're taking damage four times more than now. You're taking four times more damage than right now. Oh. There we go. Thanks. Finally. That's the most annoying boss I can think of sometimes because of the walls there. They're making it harder. And it does actually take a lot of damage as well, because your, your sword is now four times stronger than when we started fighting him the first time. And that was small drum, of course, the dark ball drum. Okay, there's only one more boss remaining. Or uh, enemy, main enemy. Before we actually got the last boss. And this enemy here is so much easier, you can't even uh, think it to yourself. Oh! I didn't intend to get hit by you though. Here we got some little puzzle. That's actually one of the harder puzzles in this game. Well, not in the game, but for now. There we see a door. And we see a chest. Could it be an Akira? No, of course not, it could not be. That would be just making too easy, wouldn't it? That's too easy to be Nintendo's... Uh... So what we're gonna do, first of all, is remove this statue. And 
now you wanna follow this little guy. Thanks. Now we got the way open it. That means we can move around. You're supposed to go in here. And now there's this surviving room. You're gonna see a lot of... Oh, come on. I want to start. Why not? Aren't you supposed to start to come up? There we go. I'm almost done with the room. Almost. Three more blocks remaining. A four action. There we go. We can go and get to the bus. Well, sort of mini bus, rather. Mini bus. After this puzzle here, you see this block. And that's what you want to get removed. I'm just gonna check out one thing. Yeah, that's how it works. That's what I thought that, that it was. Okay, this is gonna be quite annoying. There we go! Yay! Finally! And I think the only way I can go is here. I'm supposed to go to the left now, aren't I? Yeah, this is where we started out. Yeah, that's right. Oh, didn't I get the key? No, where are you? I forgot about the key. Of course. How stupid I am. There we go. I went to the wrong spot, of course. How stupid. Yeah, that's where you are. Of course. There we go. Now we can just turn no way back. No. Ouch. Stop hitting me. There, finally. That was silly. And I've been almost going on for about 30 minutes soon, so I'm just gonna end it uh, end the video after this uh, battle. But first of all, you wanna turn into the nice hook shot. Or as I'm just calling it hook shot. Oh, don't hit it with a sword. One of the good things with a nice hook shot is that you actually don't take damage when you're hitting enemies that's uh, having electricity, electricity as their main uh, attack. And as you can see, it's almost dead now. Already. There we go. And there we almost got all the minions killed. Finally! We got him killed. And just for the fun, let's collect some stuff before we enter the last uh, door. 
uh, last, well, portal, the last portal. And this is where I'm gonna end the video now, probably editing this here. I'll be stopping the recording now, and I'll be seeing you at the way to uh, the last boss, whoever that might be, I wonder. Okay, see you then, guys.